Hi, my name is Michi Held. Welcome to Daily Drum Lesson. Today we're going to check out some bass drum techniques. First of all, if you want the notation for the lesson, click the link in the video description below and download the PDF. And if you like what you see, you should think about subscribing. If you're here for the fancier stuff like slide or the heel-toe technique and are not interested in the basics, I also put an index in the description so you can easily navigate to the parts you're interested in. We will split this in three parts, single strokes, double strokes and multiple strokes, which just mean three or more. So let's start with singles. We have two different ways to execute a bass drum hit. Heel up or heel down. Heel up means our heel is in the air and we are just touching the pedal with our toes. We execute the stroke with our whole leg. I'm usually about two thirds in on the pedal. If I move more to the front, I have a longer way and get more power, but the pedal reacts way slower. If I move to the back, I have a shorter way and can play faster but with less power. You have to find your sweet spot for every situation. The other way is heel down. You lie your foot flat on the pedal and execute the stroke by using your ankle. This allows you to play way softer than you could with heel up. But well, I use heel up like 95% of the time and use heel down just for really quiet settings. Another thing you should think about is whether or not you want to bury your beater, which means you leave it pressed against the head. This is not so much a heel down as a heel up thing, because when you play heel down, you never want to leave your beater on the head. There is no right or wrong way, they are just different. When playing into the head, you get more attack and less tone. But be careful, because there is the chance you get a short buzz, like multiple strokes from the rebound. When playing out of the head, you get a rounder sound with more tone, but not so much attack. It's really just a matter of taste. Let's look at double strokes. There are two different ways to play doubles on a bass drum, slide and heel toe. Let's start with the slide technique. The idea behind doubles is always to use two muscle groups to execute two strokes to reach higher tempos. So we play the first stroke with our whole leg, like a normal heel up stroke. And then we use the knee to play another stroke all the way up on the pedal. When you speed that up, it gets some sort of sliding motion. The slide technique. The other way of playing doubles is the heel-toe technique. For the first stroke, let your foot fall flat on the pedal, this is the heel part, and then use your ankle to play the second stroke while moving your leg back up again. This is the toe part. 
This is the same idea as the upstroke movement when using the molar technique, where you drop your wrist, but with your ankle. There is no better or worse way. Both techniques lead to the same goal. So just see which one works better for you and go with it. There are different ways to practice this. Any groove with two 16th bass drums will work. The Bonham bass drum triplets are also an awesome workout. Or just pick any linear pattern with two kicks in it, like right left kick kick. I put some links in the description below. Let's talk about multiple strokes. Most of the time when I want, let's say, four strokes, I just play four normal bass drum hits. But there is a technique I use when I want a bit more speed. Let's put your foot flat on the ground, right behind the pedal, and then you move up your ankle to the point where your leg starts to shake by itself. Gradually bring your foot up on the pedal and keep that shaking reflex going. You will notice that it's not that easy to get that shaking reflex going with your foot on the pedal. So starting behind the pedal and moving up is a great way to get used to this. To practice this, I recommend any groove with a longer string of bass drums. Something like this. You can even go full 16th notes. That's a really great workout for your bass drum foot. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you liked this lesson, please subscribe to my channel, write something nice in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.